A large model showman's engine, part 58, working on the steam water pump, machining the mounting disc for the base to the correct thickness, fitting a steam inlet tap and modifying the original steam inlet fitting to become the steam exhaust outlet. Sounds like there are a lot of things to do, but in reality they're all quite simple jobs. The first job is to find out what the thickness is of the bolts that hold the bottom cylinder cover in place. And in this clip you can see that the bolt heads are just over 3mm thick. This disc that I made in the last episode is just under 4mm thick. You may be wondering why I'm using metric measurements instead of imperial. For this job it's just easier to get my head around it. The digital vernier caliper shows me that I need to remove just under 1mm from the thickness of the disc. Here I'm fitting the disc into the chuck to make sure that it's square and spins accurately and pressing it into position in the main chuck with the tailstock chuck. To commence the job I just touch the lathe tool against the work. With the tool just touching the work I zero the lin tool's DRO. This by the way is the first time I've ever used this useful tool. For the first time ever I will now know how far the saddle is from the chuck. According to the vernier caliper that I use to check the measurements, I need to remove 0.93mm from the thickness of the disc. This isn't a very high tolerance component. And once the disc was at this thickness, I left it like that. I want most of the weight to be taken by the disc, rather than the bolt heads that hold the cylinder cover in place. And this reading should be fine. I'm applying some Loctite 603 to the brass base. And once the base is bolted in place, after not forgetting to put the disc in there, the disc will become a permanent addition to the base. And yes, I am still aware that the screwdriver is too small. But it will be OK for now, when I tighten the base securely, I'll use a bigger screwdriver. I modified a steam tap that was always problematic and used to stick, and I turned it into a T-piece. This is where I'm going to get the steam supply from to power the pump. This modified steam tap will fit on the pipe to the injector. The steam pipe to the injector is 3 8 of an inch in diameter and the pipe that's going to the tap on the pump will be quarter of an inch in diameter. When I carried out this conversion I did video it for the series Model Engineering for Beginners of which it is episode 32. It's time now to look at the steam inlet and the exhaust outlet. Just in case any viewers are confused I've marked on the image what does what. On the water cylinder at the bottom of the pump when it's stood upright are the water connections. Here's a steam inlet and here's the steam exhaust at the other end of the pump. The problem is the steam exhaust is too small. It's designed for 3 16 pipe which is a bit restrictive. And the steam inlet union is going to be replaced with the tap. Here's the original exhaust pipe and it is a bit small. Although the pump isn't a high speed device it's always a good idea to use quite large piping to get rid of the steam once it's done its work. The original steam inlet was 5 16 by 32 which from a steam union point of view is designed to use a 3 16 of an inch diameter pipe. For the exhaust outlet I was going to make another adapter but when I unscrewed this one it was ideal to become the new exhaust outlet. The hole in the steam chest is 3 8 by 32 threads per inch and it had an adapter fitted to reduce it to 5 16 of an inch. This arrangement is ideal. With the help of some shim washers, I can fit a 3 8 by 32 threads per inch steam tap into the existing hole. I want the steam tap to be polished, not painted black, so the simple solution is to use some cellulose thinners or lacquer thinner to just dissolve the paint. This is a very powerful solvent and I don't want it on the bench where I'm working, so I've put it in the outer part of the workshop while I continue with the next part of the job, which is to remove the old exhaust outlet. I'm going to use the inlet adapter that I removed for the exhaust adapter. The trouble is that the 5 16 of an inch diameter thread is not long enough, but there is a solution. I've screwed the adapter into a 3 8 by 32 threads per inch union nut, and that is being clamped in the chuck. The next part of the job is to extend the threaded part. This of course will make the hexagon part a bit smaller, but that's a good thing because it's a bit big and clumsy. 
Now all I need to do is extend the original thread onto the plain part and for that I'm using a tailstock die holder. This sequence, like the turning sequence, is running at a higher speed. And with the help of the video speed control, the job is completed in no time at all. When I wound the chuck in the opposite direction, the fitting remained in the tailstock die holder. But it was very easy to remove by using a spanner. Here you see the end result, and the 5 16 part of the thread is much longer. Time to screw it into the cylinder with the help of a bit of Loctite 542 thread sealant. These days I use this sealant on most steam fittings and I find it very effective. Here you see the adapter screwed into position and that's another job done. Turning my attention now to the steam tap, I've just pulled it out of the cellulose thinners and most of the paint has gone. And what's left I removed with a wire brush in my small bench mounted Proxon motor tool. Even though the wire brush came loose in the chuck, it still made short work of the remaining paintwork. The final job in this episode is to fit the steam tap. I fitted a couple of copper shim washers so that the inlet to the tap ended up in this position as shown by the screwdriver point. I was a bit concerned that the tap was going to foul the oil inlet, but thankfully it didn't. There was plenty of room to get my spanner in and the small union nut tightened onto the fitting perfectly. And just to check the clearance, here I'm fitting the larger union nut onto the steam tap and everything's good. As I complete the piping of this pump in subsequent episodes, it will become apparent why the outlet of this tap is in the position that it is. And that's it for this episode. Stay safe, stay healthy, thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website, and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.